Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, December 26, 2023. Let's get into it. So I, uh, I wanted to make a Christmas video, but I spent Christmas Eve moving about a ton of rock. <laughs> and, my, and my body was completely shattered. I think I slept till 2 in the afternoon on Christmas Day, which, is, uh, which was a great thing. And uh, so I, I couldn't make, I tried last night. I said, well, I got to make a Christmas video, I guess. Well, if you kind of look at it, this is my belated Christmas video. I wish I had some good news for you, but of course I don't. I did want to put together a wish list uh, of what I wanted to present to you for Christmas. Um, I said, you know, please God, let's end the wars around the world. Peace on earth and goodwill towards man. You know, wouldn't that be wonderful? Uh, if we didn't have all of these uh, these neocon Democrat freaking lunatics that want to destroy the world on in in our government uh, that uh, basically want to you know exterminate the Palestinians and wage war on uh, Russia, uh, you know I think the world will probably be a, a better place. Um, and I call it the Israeli genocide. Uh, a lot of people say that's an extreme term. Uh, the, the extermination of the Palestinians is not the same as a genocide. Not sure this distinction between the two terms. Maybe you can explain that to me. Uh, I don't know. Um, and, uh, and then, of course, for my Christmas wish, I wish the war in Ukraine uh, would come to an end and that we would actually negotiate uh, with Russia. Imagine that. Imagine if we had... Uh, Lincoln Blinken actually talking to uh, Lavrov in in Russia and, and trying to negotiate. Of course, Russia is not going to trust anything we say, <laughs> nor, nor would I. I mean, my God, we've gone back on every treaty, everything we've ever promised the Russians. Uh, there's no reason for them to trust the United States, but at least maybe a dialogue would be a good idea. I don't know. I mean, it just, just seems like something... Uh, uh, by the way, I, you know, I'd like to see the threats against China uh, about Taiwan come to an end. Uh, you, know, you know, I watched a couple videos today on Hong Kong, and uh, it's not the best situation there. And uh, the people there, I mean, there, there are some people getting persecuted. Uh, China's, you know, they're, they're, they're somewhat totalitarian, no, no more um, or less so than the United States. I mean, you know, we've still got the... The courts uh, trying to put Trump <laughs> out of the election uh, just because they don't want people voting for him. Uh, then, of course, another Christmas switch. I, I'd like to see the U.S. forces focus on our citizens. I, I'd like to see the uh, the Democrats uh, uh, put in their place and, and, and our military forces used to secure our southern border. What's wrong with that? Or even put... Uh, I, uh, not necessarily military forces, but I'd like the FBI to go in and, and help Chicago or New York. These are Democrat places and, 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 and help the citizens of the United States. What's wrong with helping the citizens of the United States? I mean, we've got a, an elite class that just doesn't give a crap about Americans. And uh, I don't know. And, and the Democrats, uh, well, they just keep voting them in. I, <laughs> another Christmas wish. That was my Christmas wish for that. And uh, so I, you know, I have I have fit many videos about uh, you know how the Democrats are leading us all to doom and gloom. Uh, and then of course I would like to see an end to human trafficking in the United States. The Democrats are all for human trafficking. They're all for fentanyl pouring across the border. They're all for terrorist groups coming into the United States because they want chaos. Uh, they're all for, uh, what is it, 8 million illegal uh, immigrants in the United States, uh, uh, many of them young men. Uh, it's an invasion. I, I don't understand it. You know, it, it doesn't make sense. I think at some point, you know, the states are going to have to rise up and, and, and do their own thing. But uh, these are my Christmas wishes, and so I just wanted to put them out there. I'd like to see uh, our political leaders quit spending us into oblivion. Uh, we've got a Pentagon budget that hasn't been audited in God knows how long, a Federal Reserve that's out of control. It's all going to blow back on us in 2024. I think that the, the dollar is crashing. Uh, most of the world is, is getting out of the dollar. So what, what are you going to do? 
you know, when the dollar's just paper, I mean, what are you going to do when, it, when it's worth nothing? I mean, I don't know. Uh, you tell me. Maybe leave a comment below. And, uh, and so that I would like for the American people to wake up for the love of God and understand that politics decides your future. Uh, most people say, I don't want to do politics. I go into the American Legion. I go into the VFW. I can't do politics. I can't do politics. Well, guess what? It's the most important thing in your life. So let's just get into just some brief news here. Like I said, this is just kind of my Christmas video. Uh, so we get into uh, Secretary of Defense. Today, POTUS, United States military forces conducted necessary and proportionate strikes on three facilities used by the Khatib, Hezbollah, and affiliated groups in Iraq. These precision strikes are in response to a series of attacks against U.S. personnel. By the way, did, did, didn't I call this? Didn't I tell you that this was going to happen? I told you that the bases in Syria and Iraq were going to come under attack. But anyway, in, in Iraq and Syria by Iranian-sponsored militias, uh, including an attack by Iranian-affiliated Kataib, Kataib, Hezbollah, and affiliated groups in the Erbil air base earlier today. So now we've entered the conflict. We've poked, well, I poked the Hezbollah. Poked the Hezbollah. I can't say poke the bear because that's Russia. So now we poked Russia, of course, poked the bear, and now we're poking Hezbollah. Uh, where do you think that's going to go? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then, of course, it can, in case you didn't know, Marquinta, Marinka is fully captured by Russian forces as confirmed by geolocation from our videos, stay tuned for the SITREP later. Now just waiting for Ukraine uh, morning report. So that's Defense Politics Asia, if you want to follow that. Then, of course, this is from the Canadian prepper. Imagine the cost to U.S. taxpayers ex escorting uh, ships uh, down there uh, where the Houthis are, are blowing up ships coming across in, in their border because they want the bombing of the Palestinians then. And I'm all for uh, Yemen, the Yemen fighters. I won't call them hooties. They don't like being called hooties, you know. So, yeah, I, th I think it's, um, it, it, it can, imagine the cost. I mean, you know, it, it takes a, okay, if you ever own a boat, I mean, I had a little boat, you know, where I'd go water skiing, and I would come back, and it, back then, when gas was cheap, it'd be $100 of, of gas that I burned just to go out water skiing for half a day. Can you imagine what it takes for these U.S. naval ships to escort cargo ships through the, uh, the area to, to protect against the Yemen fighters? Oh, my God. And so he's absolutely right. So easily exceeds inflation from having to take the long route, which Maresk Pay, and that's is the company, by the way, it's the Maresk ships. Maresk Pay, the U.S., for the security. So, and then it goes on the U.S., uh, satellite images show the U.S. Navy, M-A-E-R-S-K, I guess, I don't know, I guess that must be a container ship company, I've never heard of it before, and uh, through the Red Sea, this is of course not sustainable and only high value ships will be escorted, so that just means that other ships are going to get uh, taken out by the, by the Yemen fighters. Then we get into Ukraine and Russia, Putin ordered its return. Vladimir Putin, commander-in-chief of Russian Armed Forces, says to military leaders at the Board of Ministry of Defense, you now have everything. Strong, reliable, well-armed, motivated armed forces, and most importantly, you have the popular support of the Russians. Therefore, your motherland expects results from you. So we'll see. I think that the offensive is going to get on steroids here, and, and Russia is going to really start taken over Ukraine. And that's all I have for my Christmas message. I, I wish I could had some video from you that was really spectacular or anything. Uh, but I just wanted to say Merry Christmas, uh, belatedly. Uh, and, uh, well, let's hope maybe the new year we'll see some peace in the world. Peace in the world. Stay free. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time, run on for a long time.
Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.